Hi everyone, in today's theory series, we will be reading and going over chapter nine, facial massage. And we are still reading and going over the My Lady Standard Aesthetics book. We are on page 385. Again, this is chapter nine, facial massage. Explain the importance of facial massage as an aesthetic service. Massage is a key step in relaxing part of the facial that keeps clients coming back. A thorough knowledge of muscle, nerves, connective tissues, and blood vessels is vital to performing correct massage. Massage is a manual or mechanical manipulation achieved by rubbing, kneading, or other methods that stimulate metabolism and circulation. It has many mental and physical benefits. When the body senses touch, reflex receptors respond by increasing blood and lymph flow. The central nervous system is affected, resulting in a state of relaxation. Massage also consists in product absorption and relieves pain. Estheticians should have a thorough understanding of facial massages because learning and practicing your technique will allow you to provide your client with superior results and create a loyal clientele. You must be able to explain the physiological and psychological benefits of facial massages to your clients. I believe that the massage is probably one of the client's favorite part during a facial treatment. So really mastering good massage techniques and skills is very important for the business. Knowing the proper technique and the contraindications for facial massage is important for client safety. This is another foundational service that enhances product effectiveness Facial massage provides relaxation and increases circulation. To assist with oxygenating the skin and bringing vital nutrients to the epidermis while assisting in the removal of waste. We're on page 386. Describe the benefits of the massage. Page 387. Massage during facial benefits the client in many ways. A variety of techniques can be used to give the best massage for each client individual needs. Be mindful of the results you are trying to achieve when giving a facial massage. Massage should never be given for too long or too deeply. Always be mindful of the client's comfort and adjust your pressure accordingly. Stimulating muscle and nerve motor points will both contract muscle and relax the client. In fact, one study found significantly decreased levels of cortisol, the chemical your body releases when you are stressed, with an average decrease of 31%. Massage also has been noted to increase levels of dopamine and serotonin that are responsible for feeling of happiness and self-worth. Following the massage, an average increase of 28% was noted for serotonin and an average increase of 31% was noted for dopamine, which new clients are surprised at how relaxing a facial can be and they enjoy the benefits of skin rejuvenation as well as an overall feeling of well-being. The following are benefits of facial massage. Relaxes the clients, especially the facial muscle. Stimulates blood and limb circulation. Improves an overall metabolism and activates sluggish skin. Helps with muscle toning. Helps cleanse the skin of impurities and soften sebum. Helps to slither off dead skin cells. Reduces puffiness and sinus congestion. Helps with product absorption relieves the muscle tension and pain, and overall provides a sense of well-being.
Discuss facial massage contraindications. Certain health problems and skin conditions contraindicate a massage. Before performing a service that includes a facial massage, consult the client's intake form. During the consultation, acknowledge and discuss any medical conditions that may contraindicate a facial massage. If your client expresses a concern about having a facial massage and has a relevant medical condition, advise them to speak with their physician before having the service. When in doubt, do not include massage as part of your service. If you cannot perform a massage, you can alter your service by substituting another step or leaving a mask on a little bit longer. Light acupressure massage is also a good alternative to the stronger European style massage. Facial massage contraindications such as product allergies are the same as facial contraindications that were discussed in chapter eight. Contagious diseases, inflamed acne, do not massage any area that has pustular breakouts, sunburn, windburn, irritation, and obviously severe redness. We went over on chapter eight and we discussed that when someone has very sensitive skin, overstimulating or giving a massage for too long can be irritating to someone who has sensitive skin. Sensitive skin, again, or sensitized by using acne drugs or other topical peeling agents, open lesions, cuts, sores, and abrasions, skin disorders, severe uncontrolled hypertension, and uncontrolled diabetes, okay? If your client has sensitive or redness prone skin, avoid using vigorous or strong massage techniques. We're still on page 388. Traditional contraindications. It is now acceptable for many clients who have high blood pressure, hypertension, diabetes, cancer, or a circulatory condition to have facial massage without concern especially if their condition is being treated and carefully looked after by a physician. You have to know your scope of practice, okay? What are you allowed to do with your license? An esthetician massage service are commonly limited to certain areas of the body, the face, neck, shoulders, and decollete, depending on your state's scope of practice. Therapeutic massage, such as a deep tissue massage, and a manual lymph drainage should be performed only by a licensed massage therapist who specializes in these areas. Although skin treatments such as back facials and body treatments are part of an aesthetic service, massage is not performed when working on these areas, only the application of products. Describe the five types of massage movements used by estheticians. Administering classic massage movements include five forms of hand manipulations, effleurage, petrissage, topotman, friction, and vibration. Massage should involve a rhythmic movement to the skin and tissue, and as such, usually requires a massage medium and will allow enough slip to complete the massage completely, excuse me, comfortably, and successfully. So you want to make sure that you're using something that is appropriate for that client's skin. Um, again, I mentioned that I really do enjoy massaging with grapeseed oil. And let me show you guys what that looks like. It looks like this, grapeseed oil. You can find this online, I'm sure. Let's start with effleurage. Effleurage is a soft, continuous stroking movement applied with fingers and palms in a slower, in a slow and rhythmic manner. The gliding movement is soothing and relaxing. The fingers are used on smaller surfaces such as the forehead and face. The palms are used on larger surface areas such as the shoulders. Effleurage is often used to begin and end massage sessions. 
It is used on the forehead, face, scalp, shoulders, neck, chest, arms, and hands. To correctly position the fingers for stroking, slightly curve the fingers with just the cushions of the fingertips touching the skin. Do not use the ends of the fingertips because fingertips cannot control pressure and may stretch the client. To correctly position the palms for stroking, hold the whole hand loosely, keep the wrist and fingers flexible, and curve the fingers to, com to conform to the shape of the face being massaged. Effleurage, the most important of the five movements, it is used in conjunction with other types of massage. Once you, once you begin effleurage, your hands should never leave the face and other body parts being massaged. Remember that at any point, if you feel like you are pulling or tugging the skin and you do not have um, any glide on the face, you need to keep one hand on your client's body, on their face, um, grab more product, and then you can lightly continue with the massage, okay? All right, let's now go over Petrissage. We are on page 390. Again, this is chapter nine, facial massages. Petrissage, it is a compression technique that includes kneading, squeezing, and pinching. This affects the deeper muscle tissue of the face. These movements stimulate the underlying tissue. The skin and flesh are grasped between the thumb and forefingers. As the, as the tissue are lifted from the underlying structure, they're squeezed, rolled, or pinched with a light, firm pressure. Petrissage is performed on the fleshier parts of the face, shoulders, and arms. The pressure should be light but firm and the movement should be rhythmic. Petrissage can stimulate circulation and though improve the skin's appearance and tone. Next one will be Tapotman. Tapotman, also known as percussion, is a per percussive stroke in which the fingertips strike the skin in rapid succession or fast tapping movement. This technique improves circulation by stimulating the diffusion of the capillary network. It helps nourish the skin by releasing nutrients. This technique also purifies the system by releasing carbon dioxide and other waste material. Tapotment is the most stimulating of the forms of massage and should be applied carefully with discretion. It is good for toning and is beneficial to sluggish skin. Only light digital tapping should be used on the face. The fingertips are brought down against the skin in rapid successions. This movement is sometimes referred to as a piano movement. Okay, so you want to make sure that if uh, you are not using your fingernails on the client's skin is a gentle tapping movement. Then we have friction. Friction is an invigorating rubbing technique that stimulates the circulation and glandular activity of the skin. It can be performed in a circular manner or a crisscross manner with the fingers working in opposition of each other. Pressure is maintained to the skin while the fingers or palms are moved over the underlying structures. Circular friction movements are usually used on the scalp, arms, and hands. Lighter circular friction movements are used on the face and the neck. Then we have vibration. Vibration is a rapid shaking movement in which the esthetician typically uses their body and shoulders not just the fingertips to create the movement. It is accomplished by rapid muscular contractions in the arms. The balls of the fingertips are pressed firmly on the point of application. Vibration is highly stimulating movement, but, is, but it should be used sparingly and never for more than a few seconds on any one spot. 
Now let's talk about alternative massage techniques. Different types of massages are based on the body structure and energy flow within the body. Most massage techniques are based on classical or Swedish massage movements. There are many additional advanced techniques that stimulate and detoxifies the body. These advanced massage techniques require additional training. A combination of techniques can be used in various treatments. Some of these are discussed thoroughly in chapter 13, which is advanced topics and treatments. Acupressure is a massage technique derived from Chinese medicine and consists of applying pressure to specific points of the face and body, acupressure points, to release muscle tension, restore balance, and stimulate qi, life force and energy. These points follow the same pattern of meridians in the body as acupuncture does. Then we have shiatsu is a form of acupressure and it is the Japanese technique of using acupressure massage points to relax and balance the body. Many of the motor points on the face and neck are acupressure points. Every muscle has a motor point that It is specific spot on the skin over the muscle where the pressure or stimulation will cause contractions of that muscle, nerve stimulation and an overall relaxation. The standard pressure point techniques is to pause briefly for a few seconds over the motor points using light pressure. This technique is also used on the scalp. Pressure point massage is similar to acupressure on each point, the movement is repeated three to six times. Pause for three to six seconds on each point, moving from point to point, from the top to the bottom of the face, using light inward pressure at each point, and then lifting the pressure to slide to the next point. Training is necessary to perform this massage correctly. Techniques and patterns vary with different methods. Pressure point massage is a form of acupressure, but the technique can be incorporated into treatments without being a true acupressure massage. There are other types of pressure points massage that do not follow the body-specific acupressure meridian, such as massage on mortar points. Aromatherapy massage uses essential oils mixed with an emulsion or oil and applied to the skin during massage movements. These oils are often used during the facial massage to promote mental relaxation and to treat the skin in numerous ways. Manual lymph drainage, also known as MLD. Massage uses gentle rhythmic pressure on the lymphatic system to detoxify and remove waste material from the body more quickly. It reduces swelling and it is used before and after surgery for pre and post operative care. It is a very light touch. For example, moving down the side of the neck towards the collarbone helps strain the fluid from the face to the lymph drainage channel in that area. In some states, master estheticians are allowed to perform manual lymphatic drainage as part of their scope of practice. Explain how to incorporate massage during a facial treatment. We are now on page 393. This chapter contains general guidelines that vary according to each specialized treatment. When massage is performed in the facial, depending depends on many factors. A facial massage routine will change depending on the training or even the protocol established by the facility or product manufacturer. A facial massage is performed for approximately 10 to 20 minutes during a facial. Some treatments incorporate more massage and others do not include a massage at all. Massage techniques also depend on the client's skin analysis and what you are focusing on in the treatment. 
learn the techniques, excuse me, learn the technical skills. A professional facial massage is one of the major differences between a professional treatment in a spa and a home care regimen. When performed correctly, massage is relaxing and beneficial to the client. The key is that the massage is performed correctly. Here are important tips and techniques to know when you are performing a facial massage. When performing a facial massage, hand movements need to flow and be consistent, gliding easily from one area to the next. Mental focus is important when giving a massage. Do not let mental distractions reduce your focus on the massage and your client. It is helpful to explain to clients what you are trying to achieve with your facial massage techniques. Communicate with clients and adjust your touch according to their preference. So always make sure you are asking if the pressure is okay. Educate your client so that they understand the excessive, that excessive or deep massage is too rough for facial skin. Too much pressure on the face can weaken the elastin fibers and break down elasticity. And that is definitely not what we are trying to do with the massage, okay? Massage pressure, massage type, and the duration will vary according to the skin, to the skin type. An even tempo or rhythmic flow promotes relaxation. The sequence of massage movement is designed for a smooth and graceful flow from one movement into another. You do not want to be all over the place with your massage. Massage may be started on the chin, decollete, or the forehead. Do not remove your hands once you have made contact with the skin. Always massage from muscle insertion to origin of the muscle to avoid damage to muscular tissue. Massage movements usually are performed upward and outward on the face and the neck. Maintain hand mobility. An esthetician's hands need to be flexible and have a controlled and firm touch. Hands should be soft with short, smooth, well-filed nails. Hand mobility is important in maintaining a smooth, rhythmic, and regulating a massage pressure. Both the left and right hand need to be synchronized using an equal pressure on both sides. The correct balance comes with practice and being attentive to your touch. Hand exercises can help strengthen hands and prevent repetitive motion problems such as carpal tunnel syndrome. Estheticians are susceptible to problems because of the repetitive movements, muscle and tendon strains and fatigue due to improper or poor posture. That is very important, okay? Doing hand exercises on your hands, okay, will definitely help you and avoiding having those problems. Use proper massage products. When choosing a massage product, be sure that the product not only provides a smooth glide on the face, neck, and chest, but the formula works with the client's skin type. A serum or gel-based massage product provides gentle friction and the ideal glide to leave all skin types relaxed and hydrated. Rich herbal creams based um, products provide the ideal glide to perform a facial massage for drier skin types, while the scents of the herbal extracts, which can include uh, Roman chamomile, rose, and lavender, can be soothing and calming be sure to check your client's intake form for any type of allergies before selecting a massage product. Relax. Talking eliminates the re relaxation therapy of the massage. If the client is talking, invite them to relax and enjoy the massage and don't continue the conversation. Speak in a quiet voice and only when necessary during the facial. 
put aside all distractions during a service, an esthetician's mood and mental disposition will affect the service and the client. Take a minute to clear your mind and forget about everything except giving a relaxing service. Many estheticians close their eyes and take a few deep breaths before working on a client. The close contact in a massage is very personal and intimate. It is a service that can be calming to the esthetician as well as to the client. That is very important. I have gone over this with um, all of my students, okay? If you ever have a talker or you come across a client that just won't stop talking, you want to definitely invite them to take the time that they're getting the service done to relax, okay? But if you initiate the conversation or, you know, just keep going, it's, it's not going to be as relaxing. And before you know it, the facial will be ending and the client never stop talking. So you want to make sure that that is something that you practice. And um, I think we all have clients that just love to talk, right? Choose your starting point. Starting points can vary. Massage can be started on the chin, decollete, or the forehead. Different massage movements may be used on various parts of the face, chest, and shoulders. Most movements are repeated three to six times before moving on to the next one. Use both hands at the same time and alter alternate hands with a flowing rhythm. Depending on the steps, slide the hands back down to each starting point to repeat the movement in each step. We're on page 395. Maintain contact. So the sequence of massage movements is designed for a smooth and graceful flow from one movement into another. To keep the relaxing flow and connection, do not remove your hands from the client once you have made contact with the skin to begin the facial massage. Maintaining contact gives the client a sense of physical continuity that is very soothing and calming. Should it become necessary to lift the hands from the client's face, for example, if you need to apply more product, which is what I mentioned earlier, slow down the movement, then gently replace, replace them with a feather-like movement, okay? When coming back to the face, gently make contact on the side of the face or top of the forehead to avoid startling, you know, scaring your client. To aid in relaxation, choose instrumental music with a slow and even tempo. Massage from insertion to origin, page 395, bottom of page 395. Always massage from muscle insertion to origin. Know the correct direction to massage to avoid breaking down tissue and potentially causing premature aging. The insertion is the portion of the muscle at the more movable attachment where it is attached to another muscle or to a movable bone or joint. The origin is the portion of the muscle at the fixed attachment, which is where it is attached to an immovable section of the skeleton. To avoid undue pressure and stress, it is important to massage the muscle using outward strokes. This is because inward strokes can weaken the skin, causing premature folds and wrinkles. With outward strokes, the skin is not pulled and the muscles are not weakened. Check pressure. It is important to adjust your pressure as necessary. Check in with the client about their comfort. Ask about the pressure of your touch and whether it should be more or less firm. Remember that the facial massage should be lighter than a body massage and let the client know that the skin on the face should be treated more carefully. We are not massage therapists. So it is important to educate the reasons that we do not perform stronger, deeper tissue massage on the face. So they are not disappointed if, they, if they're expecting a stronger touch. A light, firm touch when performed well 
is more relaxing than a heavier one. Sharpen your professionalism. If a client seems dissatisfied with a facial treatment, it could be due to the following reasons. Offensive breath or body odor, rough, cold hands or ragged nails that may have scratched the client's skin, allowing cream or other facial products to get into the client's eyes or nostrils or their hairline, applying too much pressure, um, too much massage oil or cream, towels are too hot or even too cold, talking too much, manipulating the skin roughly or in the, in the wrong direction, being disorganized and interrupting the facial to get supplies, sloppy product application and movement, noise or distractions during the facial. And that is an absolute no. Remember that you want to be organized and have everything ready when your client arrives to avoid having to step away and look for supplies and products. That's a big no-no. Perform a basic facial massage. It is recommended that you first practice the facial massage steps on a mannequin before doing the massage. By this point in your training, you are already experienced with setting up procedures, client consultation, and infection control procedures. On page 397, massage is the most relaxing part of the facial and it has many benefits. Various massage techniques can be incorporated into facial treatments. Appropriate massage movements are based on the anatomy of the facial structure, nerves, and muscles. Using the proper techniques is important. It is also necessary to know the contraindications for massage. Once the basic massage flows smoothly, other movements can be added to the routine. Many estheticians find that giving a facial massage is also relaxing to them and one of the most enjoyable parts of their job. And I love the diagram that they show here on page 397. All of this is very important. This is the end of page, uh, excuse me, this is the end of chapter nine, but it does, uh, it is followed by the actual procedures, perform a basic, basic facial massage. It is telling you the materials, preparations, um, that will be taking place. All of this information is very useful and um, don't ignore it, go over it, read over it. It is showing different pictures. I really like the pictures on the new book showing you how to do a decollete massage starting on the forehead, um, doing the friction massage, petrissage, depotment, effleurage, all of this, and it ends on page 408. Also, don't ignore or forget about the glossary. It's on page 409. And that is it, you guys. I hope um, you guys are enjoying this theory series. Again, we are simply reading straight from the textbook. I am doing this to help some of my students prepare for their written state exam. Um, they can always go back and re-listen to me. I know, annoying, but um, hopefully it helps them to remember all of this stuff. It's a lot of information and I know it's a little intimidating to have to remember so much. I mean, look at this textbook. It's quite big and there is more, a lot more out of the um, foundations book as well. So again, this is the end of chapter nine, facial massages. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it is helpful. And until next time, bye.